Hey everybody, this is Zach from Sub It Up coming to you with an announcement that we have reorganized our left side menu to better group items and features into the bucket that they actually belong in. Now, we know a lot of you have just muscle memory and go to the same pages almost all the time on this left side menu and um, are always going to continue to click on the same spots. This will cause a change to be a little bit of a short term uh, relearning of where all these places are. But given some time, that will that muscle memory will come back into the new spots. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break down where everything is now, uh, where it was before, and hopefully help you kind of gain some knowledge into where the item and the feature that you're looking for is now. So let's start on the left-hand side of our screen here. Uh, we have our setup tab. We removed a few things from the setup tab. Right now, it's just staff, position settings, shift templates, and manage availability. Uh, we took out the other items that were listed there. Uh, skipping down to staff, instead of this just being a staff button you can hit and take to the staff page, this now encompasses everything that has to do with managing your employees and sub it up. So this is the staff management, which is the staff tool to create employees or managers or anything like that. We had the links and resources here, which is heavily used, but used to be hidden under apps. Now we think this will give it more visibility and a lot more people will start to use uh, this specific feature. Certification management, that's Hello Cert. Again, used to be under apps, kind of hidden and tucked away. It is here now uh, on, underneath the staff page. We have employee review on the left-hand side here as well, instead of being down towards the bottom. And we do have some staff reports now. So these are specific reports that uh, you can go through to sort staff or do things with your employees. That includes the staff ID report, staff level report, and that engagement tool, which is the tool that tells you how many ads and drops and swaps each person had during a given time period. We also have our SSO configuration down here. So when you're setting up SSO or you're adding users there, it's now right under staff again, instead of hidden down under apps. If for whatever reason you don't see one of these things listed on your screen, a couple things you could, as a manager, not have permission to that specific area. That would cause you to not see this or your account may not have permissions based on what you guys signed up for and what features you indicated that you needed when you signed up. So for staff that's here, uh, next up is schedule. This can be a pretty big one. Obviously we have the calendar, which you'll no longer be able to select which calendar view you wanna go into. You'll just hit the calendar button and this is gonna actually take you to the calendar page. And then you can always switch the views right from this page. There's a calendar view button right here. So if you wanna switch to the by time position view or anything like that, you absolutely can just hit that button and go down to by time position and you'll see that there in this view. Also on our left, we have public calendar. That's gonna allow you to go and create those public calendars, manage those and configuration. This is a big one. This is gonna be setting up anything that has to do with making a schedule, right? Shift templates, break templates, the colors, uh, add shift utility, which is creating your own shifts, rotations, buffers, lots of different things. GL codes are now listed here when they used to be under apps. A global workforce, which is managing if you have staff to work in multiple time zones, all gonna be here. Availability is unchanged. These are the four things that were there uh, previously and that is still there. We have generating a schedule, um, a couple of these that, are, that were here in the previous version. Uh, send schedule is here as well, as well as history and recover shifts are all gonna be underneath the schedule tab. Message center is gonna be a single click button now. We hit this button, it's gonna pop up in the message center, nothing underneath it. We have our reports tab, which is unchanged. So if you are going to use a report, this has not changed at all. So you'll continue to use that as is. Same thing with time clock, unchanged. So if you are continuing to go somewhere to see the time clock data or whatever you're doing, you'll do that under time clock. Uh, events has changed. So for events now, you wanna hit this calendar button. That's gonna take you to an event calendar. Uh, from there, you'll be able to import event or create an event or anything else you need to do with, uh, with an event is gonna be found on the calendar. Availability is where those survey availabilities lie. This allows you to create those surveys. Settings is going to be to uh, create different locations or genres or types or anything else that you're using for events. And we still have our event specific reports over here on the left. Apps would be the last one that we need to talk about here today. This is where surveys move to. So no longer to communicate, surveys is now under apps. Uh, we also have the work study budgeting tool, no longer under budgets. It's now under here under apps. And we have our IM Leagues integration uh, listed down here as well. So that is where everything moved to. It's just a quick kind of glance of where things are now. As always, if you need any assistance at all, 
please feel free to reach out to us. Our number is 617-401-8733. You can also email us at support at subitup.com. We are open 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Mondays through Fridays on Eastern Time. Thanks so much.